OK. So yes? No, not right now. Oh, yeah, go ahead. So here we go. We have this example right now. Um, so what I'd like to do is just kind of go over the change of base formula. And what the change of base formula says is, let's say we have an equation. Y, y equals log base 5 of 25. Right? So if you guys want to go and solve that problem, all right, um, to solve this, you'd say, well, let me go and write this in exponential and see what this means. 5 to the y equals 25. Well, in our head, we know that y is going to be what? 2, two right? So you can say, hey, spelling this problem is ain't too hard. y equals 2, right? That's not too bad. And a lot of times, the majority of the problems that you guys are going to be doing, that's exactly going to be the case, all right? Um, however, your calculator, when you guys look at your calculator, depending on what calculator now you have, but the majority of your calculators only convert only when you type in log, then they only have log. They just have a log button. And it's only, it just says like log of base, so, or let's say log of x or log of 5, but it doesn't tell you what the base is. And so a lot of most calculators only will convert using base 10. So therefore, some calculators do do it now. But therefore, you can't convert log base 5 of 25. All right? A lot of you cannot do that. You can't type this into your calculator. So you know, how do we get around that then? Well, what it, let's say I don't know what flat 5 is. Well, let's say I do this. What if it's log base 3? So therefore, it's 3 to the y equals 25. That's not so easy now, is it? Right? And so anyways, to solve this, we can do, if, unless you have a calculator that will let you put in a base and a value, all you simply need to do is the change of base formula. And what the change of base formula just simply says is if you have y equals um, log base b of x, you can do y equals log base a of x over log base, um, I guess it doesn't have to be of that, uh, a of b. So what they're saying is if you just take the log of your value over the log of v. And then you say, well, what does a then have to be? Well, if your calculator is one of those that only does base 10, then it's going to be base 10. If you want to choose a different value, then you, can use, then you can use a different base. All right? Let me go and show you my example. Let's say I had log, let's do log base 3 of 27 equals y. Does anybody know what the answer is for that one right there? Y equals 3, right? Very good. Done. All right? So let's do the change of base. Let's do y equals log of 27 over log of 3. So for those of you that have a calculator, just do base 10. Do base 10 of log base 10 of 27 divided by log of 3. Or you guys can choose whatever base you want to. So why don't I choose base 3 and choose base 3? Right? Because I can figure this out. If you know the numbers, you can figure it out. 3 raised to the 27th, or 3 raised to what power gives you 27 is 3. 3 raised to what power gives you 3 is 1. But you guys can also just plug in this into your calculator as base 10. And if you chug it in your calculator as base 10, because that's what your calculator automatically uses, unless you can change it, then the answer is just going to be 3. All right. So when you guys have problems with, hey, how do I calculate this log? Most of them, if I say a lot of them, you know, do without a calculator. See what that logarithm means, Madison. Um, see what the logarithm means, or uh, or you guys can apply the change of base formula. I don't understand. So it's saying like, I don't understand. All it's saying is this. If you have a logarithm, you just take the log of the value over the log of the base. Whenever you're a computer logarithm, you still have a base. But you can use any base you want to. Okay, Your calculator is defaulted at base 10. So you can just plug it into your calculator, log of x over log of b. Or in this case, log of 27 divided by log of 3. Why did you put 3 there? Because that's the answer. At the base? You're like, you could change it to 3, and then you put like 3 in, and then you change it back to 10. OK.
You can make the base what, yeah, anything when you do the change of base. A doesn't matter. It can be any base that you want to use. But what I'm telling you, the reason why I'm telling you that you can do this is because your calculators, if you can use any base you want to, then you can just plug that in your calculator, right? But what's important about the, what's important about the change of base formula is if you don't have a calculator that you can change the base to whoever you want and you have to use base 10, you have to use base 10, well, you can't do base 10 for this problem unless you do change the base, which is log base 10 of 27 divided by log base 10 of 3. Plug that into your calculator, you're going to get 3. Yes? So the only calculator that's still log 27 divided by log base 3. Yeah. Why did I do 25? Say what? If you have a calculator that you can change the base, you can just write in what base you want and write in what value you want to evaluate for. Not all calculators have that feature, though. I know, yeah, because mine, I don't have like, yeah, that. Yeah, so it's fine. Like, next to like log, instead of like putting the base, you know. You can't put the base. If you can't change the base, then you just have to use log of 27 over log of 3. Yeah. And the default base, because there is a base, mm -hmm. they just don't write it in there. No, the base is 10. It's not 1, it's 10. The default base is 10. OK? So if you have a calculator that does not allow you to change the base, you're now, fun you're now base um, default base is 10. So you can solve any problems that are base 10, but if it's not base 10, you have to do the change of base formula, which you just write in like this. You just take that over that and divide it. Okay? All right. I'm going to do this and.